Hello everybody, so how's it going? I hope you guys are doing good. So today I have, I'm going to do another YouTube video, and this time it's going to be about 30 orcs versus 30 humans. I'll put the humans up here, or the orcs down here, one of the two. I think I'll put the orcs up here and then the humans down here. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and set it to 5 times speed. It's paused right now, so that way I can get, it. that way neither of them get a good head start. So I'll go ahead and place. Okay, so there's 30 human, 31 on accident. Now let's place 30 orcs. Okay, so there's 31 orcs and 31 humans, and we're just gonna hit play. See what happens. They might all kill each other because sometimes that happens. Like the humans all kill each other or something. We'll just see what happens. So they seem to be making a bunch of different villages. Same with the orcs. So they have one big one. The humans have two big ones. So the humans kind of split up. And then everybody down here just killed it. Nope. What was that? All the orcs just came down here and killed all those humans. So that's interesting. The orcs just were offensive right off the bat. Looks like the orcs are the dominant species right now. I mean, the humans were kind of dumb enough to come up here and make a base. And now the orcs are kind of also just going through and killing everything, so. Yeah, the orcs are a little insane. This is the only stable human settlement. They also have a second settlement down here. So, I guess the humans in the south are doing okay. Then the orcs just... I don't even know what the orcs did anymore. They just killed everything. Which is kind of dumb, but also pretty good, nice at the same time, I guess. So, the orcs now have their second settlement. I mean, I guess the humans technically have three, because there's just one dude showing up here. I don't even know why he's doing all that. He's going to get killed someday, so... He should just move down here to... Chihuahua or something, you know? Well, I'm gonna turn up the brightness, I'll be... Okay, so then, yeah, they're just doing stuff, they're doing things. I should probably give the humans some stone, and also the orcs as well. So that way they can actually build some stone huts. And that human village is pretty much dying. I don't know what they did, but they're dying. So those guys, I guess they can, because now there's four people there. The orcs also need some stone as well. And I think the world is pretty good on trees, though. Let's spawn in just some random animals, I guess. Let's spawn in some sheeps. Just to make the world more interesting. Some chickens. One cat. And some rabbits. See, now the bears will just go through and kill everything, so I'm not going to make any bears. Actually, I'll make one bear out here and see what it happens. Does. Oh, that's a. That looks like a crocodile. That bear looks like it has glowing red eyes. Interesting. Zagez is doing good. So where do the king. Okay, so now the humans are going all Roman Empire stuff. The Rotina Imperium. Yeah, I called that. Roman Empire. The Rotina Imperium is the Roman Empire, basically. Legit, that sounds a lot like the Roman Empire. The Rotina Imperium, or the Roman Empire. Like, that's that's pretty close. As close as it would be, anyway. The Nato Dig, the Nato Dig Gang. Okay, you guys do you. It looks like they're all, like, gang members or something. Also, they're killing sheep and rabbits. Why are they killing the sheep and the rabbits and the chickens? Why are they killing all that stuff? Is that a new game mechanic? Those poor sheep, they're just running away now. That's a dead sheep. Never, never mind. I have no... Look, they're just going through and killing all of them. What did, what did those animals ever do to you, orcs? Huh? They're just straight up going through and butchering all of them alive. Okay, the human settlement is doing really good. They have 40 people and then 8 down here. And the orcs only have a total of 20. So... Yeah, it was complete chaos in the very beginning. Also, this human town is dead. No surprise there. 
well. Wait, the humans are kind of going around. Well, not really. They're not. I think if just one orc came down here and there was like, hey, let's kill that guy. Other than that, not much is happening, really. The orcs are just going through and killing all. Like, look, they just. Seven orcs just chased that one sheep to the death. Like, why, though? I mean, I could get, like, a wolf. Oh, that was Piranha. I could get, like, why you guys would all go kill a wolf. But, like, why a sheep? Like, that poor sheep. They just chased it all the way down there. Even a chicken. That poor chicken. What about a rabbit? And they all kill a rabbit. That's, 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 uh, that's terrible. So the humans have some sugarcane farms going, as the usual. So this orc settlement over here has been really quiet. They're, well, that, that's dead. There's only one guy left there. So now up here is actually starting to expand and do stuff, because their count is going up, like, actually pretty good right now. And then over here, they're at 69, the golden percent. Here, here's the perfect percent right here, 69, or, well, it's not even a percent, but it's, like, number of people in town, so. 69 is perfect. 37, now these guys just have to get to 69. Like, if they both get to 69 at the same time, then that'd be amazing. Or if both of them get to 210, uh, that would also be pretty good, because then it'd be a combined number of 420. That's probably not going to happen, though, because it takes a long time to get to 200 like we did in my last video. Because they were only at, like, 150, and then I had to add, like, 50 people, and then they still didn't even get to 200. They got to 199, and then went down, and then I killed everybody, so. Yeah, it was an interesting video, to say the least. So Chihuahua has a campfire in the middle, like usual. See, their sugarcane farms are going pretty good. Also, a human settlement just came and completely... Destroyed that uh, orcish one. So, so far, I think the humans are doing the best. Mostly because the orcs just decided to kill everything. Instead of actually build a city, they were just like, Hey, let's just go kill everything that we see. And also, the uh, orcs were also over-expansive, too. But then again, so were the humans, because they made a town up here. That was also a different kingdom. See, this kingdom was smart. They just stayed on their little continent. Never mind. I take back that statement. I really take back that, back that statement. They're just going straight for the orc island. Didn't they have another settlement down here too? I don't know. It was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay, so they have a settlement right here, which is going to die because the human city is right there. So I'm thinking we should just go until there's no orcs left or there's no humans left. We'll just see how that plays out, you know? I think it sounds like a good idea. It might take a while, it could take 20 minutes, could take 15, could take 10 seconds, because the orcs are insane. Or I could just nuke everybody, that also works out pretty nice. See, I like how the orcs are just expanding around this little inward lake, called, I think it should be called the Crescent Sea. <coughs> Sorry. It should be called the Crescent Sea, because it looks like a crescent. So there's, well, I guess this isn't technically a uh, canal, because there's a block thing there, and then there's land here, so. Or, like, dried lava there, so, you know. Now, usually before I start the videos, I, like, go through and I just, like, delete the volcano, and then place a geyser there to remember the volcanic eruption that spawned the entire world. So these guys are doing really good. They're at 105 right now, 74. 12 and 3, because the orcs are just trying to kill everything, so. Yeah, see, that's not good. These humans are all going to die. And, yeah, they're dead. They're all dead. Well, F in the chat for those humans. Kepe. That's an interesting name. So the Dodigo gang is up here. You guys just don't know when to stop, do you? These guys are all going to die again. See, they just want their sugar cane back. That's all they came for. They just want this sugar cane that they... Oh, that's in a very questionable shape. I just never realized. And now they're all going to die again, aren't they? Never mind. They killed that one man orc that came over. So these guys... Both of these towns are doing really good. 
Like, they're doing really, really good. The mine's doing d decent, I guess. They still have one w little wooden hut up there, then they have a medium log hut down here. Wait, it, I have a, it, like, is this made of mud or something, or is that wood? Because that looks like more, like, clay hut, and then this looks more like a wooden hut. I feel like that's a pretty decent question, I guess. You can see the logs and stuff going through on the uh, other huts. that are mostly made of stone. So... Yeah, I mean, these also look like wooden huts. Mo like, you can see, like, the thatch roofs and stuff on top. It's very interesting. It would be pretty cool if they added, like, boats and stuff, and then, like, trade caravans and things. That'd be pretty cool, you know? Their sugarcane farm is going, like, crazy. Like, it's just pop... Like, they're using a bunch of bone meal or something. Because it just pops up, and then it, it's harvested, and then it goes to the sugar farms. Where's the sugar farm? That looks like a sugar farm. Or not the sugar farm, like the sugar foundry. It turns it all into, like, sugar-coated uh, hamburger or something. These guys are all just dancing on top of their crops. See, that's illegal in Minecraft. If you dance on the crops in Minecraft, they explode. So the orcs are doing okay. They have about... 86 people in that town, too, up there. 17 down here. Pretty Gucci. 101. They're just building a hut right on top of their farm, aren't they? So those two towns are expanding pretty good. I'm going to let it set like this for a little bit so you guys can see what's going on. So up north, humans just made another town. That's pretty nice. <laughs> So I don't think they're going to get to 210 in both towns. They might, probably not, though. And now they've just made another one, because they don't know when to stop. Like, look at all of these ruins. They can't just learn to not go up here and then die. I mean, they already have roads built here, I guess. Oh, that that's not good. That is not good at all. Look at all those orcs just coming across, ready to just kill all of them. Oh, that's... I, I didn't even see this. Okay, so there's a huge crossing battle going on right here. The humans are just going across ready for war. So this is uh interesting. So this is how the war goes in the game. Basically, everybody just crosses the water and then tries to destroy stuff. See, this is pretty cool. Hold on. Pause. I'm going to set it down so we can see what's going on a little better. So it doesn't just, like, whiz through. So the humans are doing pretty good in that war. This whole town is pretty much almost destroyed. Okay, let's set it up to at least three. Then the, Okay, the orcs kicked out most of the humans. There's still a couple dudes running around. Yeah, so the orcs won that one. The orcs just barely won that little war that they had going on. Hope the humans just killed that sheep. I'm surprised there are even sheep still left. Well, they're not killing that one, so maybe it was just an orc. See, now this town is doing pretty good. They need some stone, though, so they can actually upgrade some stuff. There's some stone for you, Eds. Use it wisely. See, all they want is their sugar cane back. That's what these guys are going for. Just grab it and run back to uh, the, your capital city, I guess. Oh. Oh. Just take the sugar cane and come back here. So this town's recovering from that little war. There's one human who just wants to die, I guess. That poor dude. That poor, poor dude. F in the chat for that guy. Okay, so this castle looks pretty nice. I mean, they look the exact same, but, you know, they just look nice. So now they have a second tier capital hood up here. That's pretty nice. See, the orc cities, they're interesting. Like, they have 110 up here now. Okay. So they both have the same capital hut for some reason. I think they do. Look the same. Yeah, they're the same. So yeah, I'm just gonna go until there's no orcs left or there's no humans left. We'll just see how that goes.
and yeah, pretty much that. So the orcs have their potato farm going. Oh, wait, I need to set the speed back up, don't I? The orcs have their potato farm going, because they love potatoes for some reason. While the hu well, humans love their sugar cane. I should be nice. There you, there you guys go. Since you guys have all run out of bone meal for some reason, here you all go. So since they all ran out of bone meal, they get some water. So there's some work higher tier huts coming up. That's pretty nice. So this city completely recovered. They were like almost getting completely killed and then they're just like, nah, we're coming back. See, the humans have two massive cities and then one medium city. The orcs have one massive city and then two small one. Oh. So the orcs are probably going to get that sugar cane that the humans left up here. You guys should probably try to get your sugar cane back. Well, that's sad. The humans have lost their sugar cane. I mean, they still have a lot more because obviously they have two massive cities. The orcs only have a medium and a big one. So I guess the humans have more sugar cane. We could actually check that though. 384, 360, 3, 260. So yeah, the humans have way more. I didn't even check this town. Yeah, 122. This the humans are farmers. Like they're just farmer farmers. Okay, they're just big on farming. So there's a little skirmishes going on here and there. And that guy just killed himself. Oh, oh. That guy just completely killed himself. Oh, oh. Well, he's dead. That guy's just dead. Well, the orc city is catching up to this city, at least. It's over this city now. That's interesting. Oh, there's some combat going on in the middle of this city. So, yeah, they're, some of their northern buildings are getting raided a little bit. That's interesting. Those look like little skyscrapers they've got going on here. See, the orcs just, like, build skyscraper huts. So orcs pretty much have most of their continent done, and then the humans have two massive cities and most of their continent, so... Or island, or whatever you want to call it. I guess it's technically one big continent, because it's connected, like, right there, right there, and right there. Oh. Why is there, like, one orc tile there? Oh, I, di I didn't even see this. There's a huge battle going on here. I think the orcs are going to win that one. Yeah, they're going to win that one. But then again, they're also coming for the humans, so. There goes that human hut. Okay, so that town went down about 20 people, that battle. This town also went down about 30 people, though. So now the orc cities are bigger than the human cities. They're just running all over their sugar cane. And then there's that... Never mind, he's dead. Look at all those little orc babies running around. It's like they're wearing, like, leather garbage bags or something. They look weird. And then these guys are, like, wearing tribal clothes. So you can tell the difference between the guys and the girls because the guys are shirtless and then the girls have, like, I don't know, scarves or something over their chests. So, you know... There's that. I don't know how to tell the difference between the orcs, so they look the same. I guess it's the same mechanic. Yeah, it's the same mechanic. Just leather instead of, like, something else, I guess. I don't know what the humans are wearing. Like, cloth. They're probably just wearing sugar cane. They just took sugar cane and wrapped it all around them. So, Wop Orc. That's an interesting name. Oh, the orcs lost some of their city on that side. Just so the humans caught back up again, because apparently they're just like fast breeders or something. I mean, it's not like they're just high on sugar cane, so, you know. The orcs are high on potatoes, though.
Dara Top. I didn't even see that name before. You just have Sugar Cane up here. So this city is a little losing ground a bit because they had some. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There's a skirmish. That's a big skirmish. That's like a fight or flight type of thing. That orc's gonna die. Oh. Yeah, the humans are losing some buildings up in the north here. Oh, that poor dude, he just got butchered alive. And also that poor orc is going after that one sheep and then he just got completely killed. See, the sheep are safe in the south. Where in the north, they just get slaughtered. See, look at the peaceful sheep and uh, rabbits just going around, enjoying life in the human empire. Or the Tatwina Imperium or something. What was that called? The Rotina Imperium. Also, I'm sorry this video is so long, but I just think we should see who wins this. Which, it could be a complete tie, because it looks like nobody's really gaining that much ground. Except the humans losing some stuff up here. And this city getting, like, destroyed down up here. Other than that, nothing really else is happening. So I guess I will just wait a second and see what happens with this. So I'll check back in with you all whenever something happens. So, yeah. Ciao. Okay, so, so there's about seven orcs on their way over to this small town, or the big town over here. And they all got killed, so that's nice. Nothing else is happening right now, I guess. They're all, it's like just big old border war across this canal right here, pretty much, is all that's going on. I don't know if anybody's actually going to win. Okay, what's a way to speed this up? Tumor wouldn't help. How about a zombie apocalypse? Maybe. Oh, there's a lot of people. Where would the perfect spot to spawn a zombie apocalypse be? How about, like, right here? We'll just spawn and see who the last people surviving are. So the orcs are all coming down here trying to fight them all off. Zombies are also going across the bay. Which is not a good idea because the humans are waiting for them. The humans are also just running across trying to kill them off, so. But the zombies just keep coming. Okay, that should be enough. Let's just see how that goes. See all the zombies taking over? They're spawning new people whenever they kill somebody. We'll just see who survives the zombie apocalypse. So this entire human city is being eaten up. Gonna spawn some more zombies up here. This entire human city is basically just being completely obliterated right now. Zombies are going in a big wave, killing everything. I think this city will probably end them, though. Because that's a wave of about 60 of them, so, you know. The Rotina Imperium shall survive, hopefully. So the orcs are doing... I mean, they're holding their own a little bit. Not really, kind of. They're kind of holding their own. They're doing decent. Oh, that's a lot of humans. Why'd they all go over there? Yeah, see, I thought that the humans would probably hold them all off. How are the orcs doing? Not as good, not as good. Um, we should probably spawn some more zombies down here. Yeah, the orcs are definitely not doing as good. Yeah, and the humans just come in and completely like, gangbang the, the zombies to death. So that's not a good thing. Well, it is a good thing for them, but not for the orcs and the other zombies. 
yeah, I don't know if the orcs are going to survive this. I mean, they have 60-something people over here, so they might do good. Oh, the humans gained back their lost thing. Oh, that poor potato farm that the orcs just left behind. Okay, so there's humans trying to come across and fight the zombies. Not the best idea. Hey, at least they kept their sugarcane farm. Also, that small castle down there that they had to rebuild. See, that's not a good idea for you guys. I think we need more zombies. So next time I do any video like this, I'll try to use the demons or the cold ones. One of those two. But this world just needs more zombies, you know? Oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze right now. Okay, so that's going pretty good. More zombies means more zombies. So humans are getting another zombie invasion. And that means over here is kind of getting zombie invasion a little bit too. Let's go ahead and make that go a little faster. A double spawn? No, it won't let me double spawn. So that's a nice zombie invasion. Okay, so up here's holding on just barely. See, right there needs some more zombies, you know? How's the Crescent Sea holding up? Pretty much holding up, I guess. Okay, so down here there's another zombie little army coming in. Apparently the orcs are not good at fighting zombies at all. See, death by zombie is very slow. This is going to take a while for the zombies to spawn in enough numbers to actually do some stuff. Well, there's a little zombie invasion on the top right of the screen right now. That's interesting. Yeah, see, look, I just spawned in, like, a bunch of zombies, and they all just got instant killed, so... Means they must start in a big group first. Oh, the orcs holding up. The orcs are almost dead. Yep, they're all about to die. So let's just try to make sure that the humans don't survive as much either. But yeah, it, it probably would have taken like at least an hour or two for both of these to like completely take over the whole world or something. You know? Because it was legit just small skirmishing wars. Like it wasn't even like a big invasion until like that one in the south. Oh. See, that's something. That's a little bit laggy. Oh, the orcs are all dead. Almost. The orcs are all almost dead. I'm pretty sure the orcs are mostly dead. So the humans won this. Let's just see. I guess we could try to end. Well. That's death. That is really death. So this looks like it's the last bastion for human civilization. That everybody's dead down here. See, look at these remnants of human civilization. It looks cool. All their sugar cane still grown, just sitting there waiting for them. What happens I spawn in a rabbit? Okay, they don't go after the rabbit. Never mind, they do go after the rabbit. Is there zombified rabbits? Probably not. Oh, I've never seen those huts before. They must be like the highest tier huts in the game. There might even be higher, who knows. And here come the zombies. Well, that's, that's death. From the north and the south. I'm going to pause whenever there's one human left and see who the last one to survive is. Okay, there's three, two, one. And I think he died, didn't he? Or is he right here? Well, Rop is the last man alive. Rop is the king of the Rotina Empire. Imperium. 
So Rop is the last human or orc to survive this entire game. He is the last living man to survive. That poor, poor man, him and like 2,000 zombies is all that's left. Never mind, him and like 424 zombies are all that's left. Well, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you really enjoyed this, then please don't hit, forget to hit subscribe, like, all that stuff if you want. You don't have to, just shooting that out there, I guess. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All the orcs died. All the humans died except Rop. Rop is my new hero in life. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.